Hi, it's Tony Tricelius from Cheap Scrapbook Stuff coming to you with this week's Hump Day Inspiration. And today I'm working with um, an older Maggie Holmes collection called Paracel. Um, we still have quite a bit of it, so I thought I would throw together a couple quick layouts. Um, so I'll show you the collection. First we have a specialty paper. It's foil on perforated cardstock. I don't know if you can see the perforated, um, but it's very cool. So that's the first paper. Next up is called Perfect Day. Some um, journaling cards and tags. And then there's the back side. This one is called Ooey Ooey Flowers and Bows on the back side. Brave Spirit. Got some birds and some buttons. This one is called Life is Sweet. And the back side has some hearts on it. Free to Fly, some butterflies. And a stripe on the back. Going kind of fast because this is a 24 uh, sheet collection. Uh, this one is called Kind Heart. And hearts on the back. This one is called Amour, which looks just like the specialty paper, except it's not perforated. And on the back is just a fern print. This one is called Blooming. And the back side is a sky print. This one is called Splendid. And the back side is kind of a paisley tone on tone. Cher Maison is this one, and the back side is a polka dot tone on tone. This one is called My Forever, and there's the back side. And this one is called Precious, and there's the back side, some flowers. This one is called La Musique, and the back side is some stamps. Regards, and some flowers on the back side. Wildwood, different flowers. Beautiful day. and an aerial view on the back. Perfumery. And yet more flowers. This one is called Discover. And there's the back side. Meadowlark. And the back side. Notions and the back side. Almost done. Dreaming and the back side. Ooh la la and the back side. So you can see it's a pretty uh, varied collection. And last one, bonjour, and the back side. So there's your papers. So now for embellishments. We have a 6 by 12 sticker sheet. There's the front and the back. We have a stationary pack. We have a mixed embellishment pack. It's got buttons, it's got enamel dots, and it's got some twine and um, trim. We have puffy stickers. We have an eight page sticker book. 
we have a paper repack. So it's kind of like an ephemera pack with some journaling papers and just a whole assortment of stuff. Um, there's like 200 pieces in here. Yeah, 200 pieces in there. We have a 40 piece note card pack. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, 20. So, there's two of each. They're single sided. Um, two of each of those. We have a sticker roll pack. There's one of the sticker rolls. And there's the other sticker roll. And of course, we have washi tape. So that's the collection and my layouts. Here's the first one. So if I was going to do it, I would kind of put those on an angle, but I didn't mat them. Okay, so took free to fly for the background, which is the butterflies. And then I took Discover and the back side of Citron. And I cut three inch strips and made them into banners, different sizes, random sizes. Um, oh, before I did that, I took squares of these two sheets. So the back side of Notions and the back side of Wildwood. Um, you can barely see my squares, but they are there. They're on the bottom. Um, so I put these two squares down kind of on an angle, and then I put the um, banners on top. And then I embellished the banners with stickers from the sticker roll. And then I just took the paper repack and I just clustered a bunch of stuff on the bottom. And that was really the extent of the layout. Um, I took an extra piece of the back side of Wildwood and used that for the photo mat. And I topped it with some cardstock. Uh, muslin muslin cardstock um, if you wanted to put more pictures you could eliminate the stuff at the bottom and put more pictures um, you could put a journaling box lots of different things you can do I, I, I opted to use the papery pack because um, I opened it for the next layout so I thought well let me just use some of the pieces so at any rate there's the first layout And the second layout looks like this. And here, let's do this. Okay, so what we did was we took um, for the background, kind of offset it. So I used um, Life is Sweet and Precious. And I kind of offset it. I think I did seven inches and five inches. And it looks like I went crooked. Or else it's just the way I have it on the table. Um, and then I took like a three inch strip or a two inch strip of, I'll measure it, Splendid. The back side is Splendid. And set it there to hide my seam. And then I ran washi tape on the edges. Um, the blue and the bows to pick up the bows. Oh, not the blue. I'm sorry, the pink and the bows to pick up the bows. And then I took a strip of Amore. Just one strip, cut it, matted it on the back side of Cher Maison and put it top and bottom and then 
another strip of washi tape and again I took the paper repack and just clustered in the corner um, a bunch of elements from the paper repack and then I used leftover paper for my photo mats and I thought they kind of looked good like that and you know of course you could add a title or one of the journaling boxes or tags if you wanted to um, I kind of left it open um, for whoever ends up buying this and then wants to add a title to it so there you have it I will put some description in the um, I will put information in the description as to measurements and links to the product There'll be still shots on the community tab, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me directly. Thanks, and make it a great day.